Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14 and welcome back to more of the World of Magic. So last time we made it to level 19, finally. Finally, yeah, okay. The span time from 18 to 19 was very quickly. Now what you wanted to do to get to the pirate ship is actually go above the Sarah spawn right here with the black trader and the ship over there, you know, you, you know. Come up here to where this boulder is, right here, and then directly from it just turn left. And that's where you will be able to walk on the water. And then from here you want to circle around that boulder, find your way up, and then just basically keep moving right and up until you crash. Right and up. See that? Just It's pretty simple. Right and up. Then when you get here, then you actually want to move left, finally, when you come right here very close to the pirate ship. Move left, up, and right. Confusing for first time players, but you'll get it. It's pretty simple. Alright, so here, entrance to the pirate ship, or entrance of the pirate ship, whatever. Yes, use the key. Here's the pirate ship, a bunch of brooms and shit here, so... Oh, I'm gonna have to find a safe spot or something, because this is gonna be crazy, um... Okay, I'm just gonna kill this one broom, and then I'll do the analysis. Damn, I just owned this broom quickly. Damn, look at that. Okay. So this is the pirate ship. Yes, I'm aware that I'm already a higher level than the first level of, you know, an enemy here, which is a broom. But, yeah, I still have to do the enemy, enemy analysis because it's a let's play and I want to talk about everything thoroughly. Okay, so the first enemy is a broom. Brooms are level 18 enemies. They attack in melee and they are aggressive. Brooms drop pirate uh, pirate coins. Also pirate gloves, very rare. Carnivalize Volume 2, another rare drop. I believe they're the only enemy in the game that dropped that, maybe. Or maybe, whatever. Uh, oh no, and also the sweeper actually. So two enemies in the game that dropped that. Also drops an old box. A potion bag, a weapon enchant scroll C, and an armor enchant scroll C. Overall, not good enemies to grind off of because, you know, it doesn't have good common drops, whereas the lighthouse has a lot of drops that, you know, here and there are better. Anyways, next enemy is a treasure chest, which actually in game has no name, it's just blank, but people just call it the treasure chest now because, you know, it needs a name. People want to give it a name, so yeah, treasure chest. Treasure chests are level 19 enemies. They attack in melee and they're actually not aggressive. We haven't seen a non-aggressive enemy in a long time, but here's one. Uh, their drops include a bandage, a palm cocktail, red beeswax, which is used for quests here in the pirate ship, pirate car 10, again another quest for here, but I'll talk about the NPCs in the pirate ship much later, uh, captain's cabin key, that's actually to get to the next area of the pirate ship, which I will, again I will talk about later, pirate ring, rare drop, multi-shot volume 1, hey, if we get lucky with that then whatever. You know, we'll save some money. Um, ancient treasure and a potion bag. Next enemy is pirate skeleton. Pirate skeletons are also level 19 enemies. They attack in melee and they are aggressive. The drops include pirate coins, uh, pirate gloves, pirate ring, sharp eye volume 2, which is perhaps the, the main reason why these enemies are, you know, uh, farmed, because they want that book, and so will I. Um, old box volume 1. Weapon Enchant Scroll C and Armor Enchant Scroll C. Next enemy is a Pirate Ghost. Pirate Ghosts are level 20 enemies. They attack in melee and they are aggressive. The drops include Bandage, uh, a Bandage, Pirate Coins, Pirate Gloves, Pirate Ring, uh, Berserk Volume 1, Ancient Treasure, Potion Bag, Weapon Enchant Scroll B, and Armor Enchant Scroll B. Overall, nothing really useful. I mean, besides those super rare drops, you know, the Pirate Armor stuff, but... Okay, whatever. Yeah, if you hear sound, it's because I'm fighting a broom because they respawn where I'm at, so... Whatever. Um, now for the bosses. The first boss is, um... Sweeper. Now, Sweeper is actually just a level 18 enemy, but the reason why it's considered a boss is, again, because it's in all caps. Although, it's a pretty weak one. It attacks in melee, and it's, um... It is aggressive. But, you know, melee... Melee boss? Uh, I don't know. Pretty, pr pretty pathetic. Anyways, this drops to include a pirate coin. The hallway key, now the hallway key is a 100% drop if you kill the sweeper, which is why its value is not very good. It also drops Carnivalize Volume 2, I've already said that previously when I talk about brooms, and the weapon enchant C and armor enchant C. Its rarest drop is Carnivalize Volume 2, but overall there's not a lot of these, I believe only two can spawn in the pirate ship at the same time or something, but if you kill it, it will give you the hallway key. Anyways, now for the real boss, and here is Boatswain Bronca. Boatswain Bronca is a darker skeleton. It's level 24, it attacks in ranged, and it is aggressive. Its drops include Pirate Coins, Joma's Pendant, a typical item dropped by many bosses, you know, here and there. Um, pirate Card A, Pirate Hat, 
pirate necklace, pirate ring, you know, just a bunch of pirate stuff, which, you know, sell for a good amount if you get them. Uh, ancient treasure, potion bag, weapon enchant B, and armor enchant B. Um, among these, among all the enemies in here, it's the only enemy that drops a pirate hat, so that one's obviously going to be pretty valuable. And, um, oh, and the pirate necklace too, I think, right? I think, I hope, whatever. So that is the end of the enemy analysis for the pirate ship. Yeah. Pretty cool, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, like I said before, this place is not good to to level up off of anymore just because I'm level 19. I should have been here earlier, but I just, you know, I was busy. I was so busy with the lighthouse and stuff that I just got distracted. And yeah. But yeah, that is a pirate ship. I guess I'll just go ahead and show you around for this video. You know, I might as well. It is a walkthrough, so I'll just show you the pirate ship. At least the first area. Now keep in mind that the pirate ship is actually split into multiple areas. I think it's two areas. Yeah, two different areas. First floor and second floor. But the thing is, unlike the lighthouse, it's not a big dungeon at all, which is why I just combine both floors into one. For example, pirate skeletons. No, no, wait, no, no. Pirate ghosts only appear on the second floor, I believe. Pirate skeletons usually only appear on the second floor, but like two of them appear in the first floor, and I don't know, it's confusing as hell. Brooms only appear on the first floor, sweepers only appear in this room. So, you know, it's it's crazy. And I just figured, you know what, it's kind of confusing, and it's pretty short, so I'll just do them all in one analysis. Unlike the lighthouse, where each floor in the lighthouse is very, very different from the previous one. You know, the enemies are almost exclusively new. So far, the only enemy that we've seen in two floors are the skeletons, you know, so that tells you something, that they're very unique, enemies are very unique to, uh, you know, their floors, very different from here. But yeah, um, plans for the future, we're going to get a uh, Concentrate and Thorns very soon. Most people would actually have these books, you know, fairly early between levels 5 through 10, because it just makes sense to, you know, to have that. I, of course, did not do that. Why exactly? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I really don't. Um, there really is no reason as to why I did that. I guess I was stingy at first because I wanted to keep my money for weapons and armor, which I, you know, I wanted very badly, especially a composite bow and a pet, stuff like that, and I didn't want to waste anything at all, like nothing. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even waste money on a teleporter. That's how cheap I was. Like, seriously. If anything, I just teleported to the Mushroom Marshland to get closer to the beach, but... 495 for the beach? Uh-uh, I was not going to be doing that, you know, to keep going there. So, that's why I wasn't doing any of that, but, um, now's a good time, you know, we have plenty of money. Obviously, we're going to be having to spend a lot of that for a great bow, a very good great bow. Um, because I have actually seen some very good great bows for about 600,000 or so. You know, some people say they're worth up to, like, 800,000, but recently, like, I don't know, in the last two weeks or so, I have seen some great bows for about 600,000 that were like 6 hit rate, 4 dexterity, plus 7, so I was like, whoa, that is crazy, that is a very good deal. But yeah, the thing is, I didn't have the money at the time, there's a sweeper by the way, I didn't have the money at the time, so um, that's why I couldn't buy it. But now that I have the money, I'm going to be looking into that, and hopefully I can actually buy the great bow on screen, because that's going to be pretty amazing if I can do that, you know, if I manage to pull that off. It's going to be pretty cool. So here's a sweeper, like I said. Um, it will always drop the hallway key, and hopefully it drops Carnival Eyes too, although it's extreme, extremely rare drop. Just like how the brooms will almost never drop it either. But yeah, that one's worth about 50000 or so, maybe more. I don't remember. Something like that, but about that much. Hallway key. Alright, so cool. Hallway keys are worth pretty much nothing, because sweepers drop them all the time. Although, I mean, if you want to sell them, you might as well sell them in the Black Trader, because I think they only sell for like one. 50, 100, 150, I don't know, whatever. It's uh, not a lot. Okay, in the Black Trader, I'm pretty sure you can get away with selling it for like 600, maybe 700 G, I don't know. If, you know, if somebody actually wants to buy that, you'll get away with it, you know, sell it. So, you know, you'll make a slight profit, whatever. But, okay, I'm just battling these enemies for no apparent reason. Again, they're lower level. Not worth my time, but I will be leveling in between videos, or, you know, fighting enemies here and there. So, don't worry about that. Uh, and we're also going to... Well, let's see, what else are we going to do? Actually, never mind, I'm not going to do much else. Alright, over there there's nothing, just a bunch more brooms. I mainly, I mainly came over here for, for the sweeper, you know, so I could show you the sweeper. Um, and, um, what else was I going to say? I was going to say something else I forgot. Yeah, recently I've been adding so many random people, like, I have no idea why, just for the hell of it. <laughs> like, Red 2 just saw another person, and 
you know, I'm just adding people who they don't even like. Okay, before I was just adding people who actually talk to me. I'm like, yeah, I'll just add you as a friend. Why not? I mean, it's not. It's not like it's important to ask someone as a friend. It's not. It's a. Uh, I mean, you get to see when they go online, and then people just welcome you back and stuff. But overall, there's like no huge, you know, significant impact on being friends or not. Like, okay. So that's why I'm just like, yeah, I'm just going to add this person, I'm just going to add this person, they don't even know me, but I don't even care, just whatever. Who cares? Okay, uh, I'm just going to get out of here, I thought there was going to be another sweeper over here, but apparently not. I think he spawned somewhere up here or something, but doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Okay, I'm going to get out of the pirate ship, the main thing was just, you know, the analysis, because it's a let's play, a walkthrough, I wanted to do that. And I also wanted to show you guys at least one sweeper, so there you go. We got a hallway key. Alrighty, sweet. Now we're going to get out of here. Yeah, go back down. I remember to go back down in reverse. Left, down, left, down. Whereas, you know, versus up, right, up, right. Okay, down. Okay, now when we get over here, then we're finally set. And there we go. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go down to the Black Trader. And pretty much sell, or, you know, just... Black Trader and this person over here, Damas, to sell some stuff. That's what we have. Um, yeah, we got a cool, good amount of stuff. All right, I'm just gonna sell everything. Potions, yes. Uh, weapon Enchant C, what the hell, okay. Magic Extraction Scroll. Dungaryu Juice, whatever. Potion Bag, see, Hallway Key sells for... Oh, wait, that's the Rusty Key, what am I talking about? Where's the, where's, um... Yeah, the thing about the Rusty Key, is that every time you use it, it goes away from your inventory up here. Oh, old box took place of this thing. Every time you use it, like enter the pirate ship, it goes away from your inventory, like from your original place. Like it always goes in the first possible slot. Like it's weird. But the Angel's Tear doesn't do that. So I don't know why the Rusty Key does that, but not the Angel's Tear. Whatever, that's weird. Okay, here's the hallway key. Gonna move that out of here. Let's see how much the hallway key sells for. Yeah, 150. I'm pretty sure you can sell that for more than Black Trader, but. Definitely not a thousand, you know, I mean, if you're lucky, hey, you can sell for a thousand and somebody will actually buy it, maybe, I don't know. Well, being Urbra, I don't want this crap because I have 30 Whoopa pork meats. Oh yeah, I forgot about this, Ice Prison too. It's not worth a lot, like, what, 2,000 or something, maybe? Poisonous Spiders and White Spiders drop it, I think. I killed a White Spider and I dropped that. The one that's worth more is Parry 3 because Parry 3 is actually exclusive to the White Spider. You know, it's just for the White Spider, the mini boss. Uh, we have, yeah, I'm keeping these things just to exchange them to Cola now. Spider Silk, um, you, you should actually keep that and sell it in bundles in the Black Trader, whereas I was just selling it, being stupid. Alright, after a pretty good, uh, cut. Uh, dude, somebody attacked me, are you kidding me? Yeah, I cut it because I was basically organizing everything and, you know, it was... Uh, this dude attacked me, are you, are you kidding me right now? No, dude, you're not gonna... Okay, you died. Now I just gotta go back and, you know, hide in my mercenaries because I'm a wuss. Or, you know, I don't wanna go out there as a purple name. Okay. Well, he attacked me, so whatever. Alrighty, um... Yeah, I also got this. Now, this is probably more expensive, but the thing is, depending on the market, you could sometimes get away with it. I, I looked at Fantastic Powder, and everybody was selling for like 4000 each. I mean, I know that's ridiculous for Fantastic Powder, but I figure, you know what, how about I just put it for 2400 because whenever there's no market, you could take advantage of it and sell for a higher price. And if somebody actually wants to buy it, they're going to have to buy this price. It probably changed by now, but yeah, I got a Fantastic Powder from... Where the hell did I get this? I, I don't know. Ancient Treasure, maybe, if it comes from there. Whatever. What the hell? Look at all these people. Oh, God. Hey, Sheep Coolsy. I, uh, yeah, he talks to me often. Um, so you're selling this... See, people do this to, like, store it or something. To store their items sometimes, and... You know, they have to pay the 1500 deposit. Oh, I'm talking too much. Oh my god. It's going to be another part. So, whatever. Quickly, let's look at Grapos. Anything good? Nine hit rate? No. Six six plus two? Uh, maybe, uh, damn it, I want more dexterity. Shit. That, that's decent for 550,000. Six hit rate? Uh, I'd be looking for more dexterity, though. Whatever. So, goodbye, everybody, and until next time.